Hi everybody! So today I have a super long awaited outfit video. Um, this one is summer themed and I'm pretty excited for it because I haven't done anything fashion related besides like crocheting in a very very long time. Since my last outfit video which was my fall outfit video to now I, ha I barely did any shopping besides like buying gym clothes and like sleepwear and stuff like that. So I did buy a couple of new pieces from different places which I will talk about in the video once those pieces pop up in the video here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you're excited and without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with one of my favorite outfits in this video, I put this mesh skirt from Ragged Priest together with this tie cami top from Shein. I personally don't shop from Shein anymore, but I do still have tons of clothes from there as I won't just dump them out just because they're from Shein. But just keep that in mind because a lot of the clothes in this video are pretty old and a lot of them are from Shein, so yeah. I also paired my Dark Martin loafers with this outfit, making it perfect for summer. But wear thick socks with these shoes or your skin on your ankles will peel off. And this is coming from experience. Here I have this short denim skirt I thrifted from Ragorama, a thrift slash vintage store in Atlanta with some black calf boots from Shein and a basic blue tank top. I've been getting more into super short skirts and showing off more skin these days, so I'm pretty excited to wear this during the summer. I've also been more confident in not wearing a bra, which I've been working on for a while now and it feels so good to not be afraid to just wear clothes how I want to wear them. The shoulder bag I have here is from a store called Junkman's Daughter, which is also in Atlanta. I highly recommend that store. I love shopping there and they have such an eclectic collection of goodies to buy. This outfit is perfect for walking around the city, doing some thrift shopping, or just relaxing on a blanket in the park listening to Summer Girl by Q. This is such a relaxing outfit and the pieces for this outfit can easily be found in any thrift store, hopefully any thrift store. It's just an oversized button-up shirt and a midi skirt. If you want to change it up a bit, you can button up the shirt and tuck it into the skirt. Either way, it's super cute. If you follow my fashion Instagram, you'll probably guess that this is my favorite sweater vest ever. I got this from Urban Outfitters last year and I pair it with everything. Here I paired it with a tennis skirt I got from YesStyle a long time ago and my Dark Martin loafers. The sweater vest is very cozy but not cozy enough that'll make me hot. If that were the case, I definitely would not wear this in the southern heat. If it's a more cool day or for a more modest look, you can swap the skirt for some black pants. These pants are from the brand Disturbia and I really love how the patterns flow with each other. Other. Another great outfit for chilling in the park or even in the house with the windows open, this is a very comfortable and airy outfit. The overalls are from YesStyle and the sandals are from Target, I think. It's very casual and simple, but outfits like this make me feel really happy for some reason, probably from just how comfortable they are to wear. And the cool thing is like, you can even pair the overalls with any shirt you have, honestly, and it'll flow. Here I have a basic black tank top and biker shorts paired with an oversized denim jacket that I thrifted in New York last year. I also found an excuse to wear my koi footwear sandals and use my velvet crochet tote bag that I made in my last video. Everything paired together nicely and I think it's perfect for summer. If the denim jacket is too much, you can swap it out for a light button up shirt like this corduroy top I'm wearing here. I also swapped the platform sandals for a more comfortable sandal instead, giving it a more casual look. For those summer evenings where you're dressing up, I decided to wear this long, lightweight dress from the brand called The Crypt. In the past, I wasn't really into this type of fashion, but something is changing inside of me. I don't know if it's because I've been going to the gym every day and I've built up more confidence in my body or just that my fashion interests are changing, but I've been loving fashion like the clothes The Crypt offers. That and Ragged Priest. If you want a more modest look with the dress, you can throw on a shirt over it. I threw on this lettuce trim patchwork top I got from YesStyle over the dress and it gives it a more more casual look. For some reason, this outfit makes me think I'm going to the zoo or on a safari trip or something. It's probably because of the tank top and the denim shorts, honestly. But I think this is a very casual outfit for the summer and chill for running errands and going to amusement parks and stuff like that. I also paired another tote bag I made with the outfit and it works perfectly with the neutral tones of the outfit. 
Bringing back the denim skirt from earlier, I paired it with this Euphoria crop top I got from Etsy. Unfortunately, the seller stopped making them, but maybe one day it'll come back. I think the shirt is really creative with how the women from the show are drawn as brats. And because this shirt is a white crop top, it works perfectly with almost any outfit. I don't think I'll be able to express how obsessed I am with this ragged priest skirt. It just pairs well with anything I wear it with and it compliments me so much, I think. I took the black tank top from earlier and pulled the straps over my head, crossing them over each other to make it look like a different type of shirt. You can do it that way, you can cross over only one strap like I did here, or you can wear it regular and add a dress shirt on top. Either way is super cute. I've been wanting a long denim skirt for a while now and I actually got super stoked when I found one at Ragorama the other weekend. It works just like the Ragged Priest skirt pairing well with anything I put it with like my leaf themed crochet bralette and these Comfort sneakers. To add more green to the look, I paired my granny square tote bag with the outfit and it looks amazing for a summer themed look. If you're someone who enjoys preppy or the academia aesthetic, then I think you'd love this outfit. The cropped cardigan I'm wearing is very lightweight and will work with the summer heat. The brown platform heels are great too because they're platformed. If they were thin heels, I don't think there would be any possible way I would be able to wear them without breaking my ankles. One day, mini skirts or pleated skirts will go out of style or I'll be 80 years old and still rocking them just as much as I do these days. They're just so flattering and cute. I paired this denim skirt with the mesh top that was always just sitting in my closet since I purchased it in 2020. Pairing a short skirt with a long pair of boots is a combo that I tend to always repeat. However, for this outfit, I exchanged the long boots for my Dark Martin loafers and a button up blouse. I'm not sure what this type of shirt is called with the poof sleeves, but I think they're very flattering and fits the corset and Regency trend very casually, like very subtly. I kept the brown blouse and exchanged the denim skirt with a long black midi skirt to show the different ways you can wear either one of these pieces. I even think an actual corset top will go perfectly with skirts like this one. And to make it more casual, I paired my Converse sneakers with it as well as my crochet tote bag. For a more grunge-ish summer outfit, I paired these flowy red pants I got from a store called Psycho Sisters with a basic tank top from YesStyle. The long black cardigan is from Shein and I think it fits perfectly the witchy, fairy-ish aura of this outfit. I want to try and figure out other ways to wear these pants because they're so unique but this was legit the only outfit I could come up with yet that I actually liked and would actually wear outside the house. This outfit I've worn an unfathomable amount of times last year and as you can tell, that trend is definitely continuing into this year as well. This outfit is very cute and casual and incredibly comfortable. Any outfit with flowy wide leg pants is comfortable to me honestly. When I went to New York last year, a lot of strangers actually told me they liked this outfit and I felt pretty happy about that. I paired it with a green bandana back then, but for this video, for some reason, I just couldn't find the bandana, but I think that the outfit definitely looks better with the bandana. This outfit is for those hot summer days where you just want to feel comfortable and wear your pajamas, but try to make it somewhat fashionable. These lightweight sweatpants are from Urban Outfitters and I highly enjoy how baggy they are. I think they would flow a lot better with a corset top, but unfortunately I don't have one of those at the moment. Hopefully the next time I go thrifting, I'll be able to find a cute one I like, but the cami I'm wearing with these sweatpants will have to do for now. Exchanging the sweatpants for the previous black midi skirt and some black boots, I think this is an incredibly chic outfit. It looks soft and elegant, yet casual and friendly. Can you tell I'm not that great with describing outfits? It, it just looks good to me, and I'm absolutely wearing it this summer. Bringing back my favorite ragged pre-skirt back one final time, I paired it with a black cropped tie cardigan I got from Marshalls and my Doc Martin loafers. I don't have much to say about this outfit other than the skirt literally goes with everything I pair it with and I'm going to try and not wear it every day, but honestly, if I end up wearing it every day, honestly, who cares? I bought it for a reason and I think that it deserves to be worn every single day. I'm probably not gonna wear it every single day, but yeah. <laughs> 
for this outfit, I exchanged the skirt for my orange cargo pants I got from Target in 2019. I've had these pants for a while, but they've never gone out of style for me. They're always wrinkled though since I don't own an iron, but usually before wearing it out, I'll just throw it in the dryer for a couple of minutes to get the wrinkles out. I've seen that balloon and super oversized pants are in style at the moment, and I truly want to invest in them because I've loved huge pants for a very long time now. But for now, this is the closest I'm getting to that. For the final outfit, I have these wide-legged denim jeans from Shein and this poof sleeve blouse from Nasty Gal. I purchased both of these items, I think, two years ago, and I'm surprised the pants fit, honestly, because the last time I put them on, they were super tight, but I'm really happy now that I can finally wear them and be able to breathe at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this little outfit video. It's nice doing it after so long. I hope to bring a lot more where this came from and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.